Our world continues to change at an ever increasing rate, and this is having a major impact on how we live our lives and how we work. Automation, new digital platforms and shifting social views are changing how we view our work and what we want from it. This in turn is influencing both the nature of our work and what the conventional workplace looks like. You've told us that your businesses are changing too, and that you are having to adapt and manage greater complexity. This includes managing the pressures of multiple supply chains and the growing need to have shared work sites to deliver your products or services. All of these dynamics contribute an impact on health and safety in our workplaces. Too many New Zealanders continue to be injured or killed at work. This is why the government has set a target of reducing serious injuries and fatalities in the workplace by at least 25% by 2020. It's also why ACC has been working with our business customers to identify better ways to help you have healthy and safe workplaces. We've conducted workshops and interviews with over 300 people around the country to understand their current realities, key needs and how we can do things better. Earlier this year we conducted a workshop with AEP customers. Like all of the businesses we spoke with, you reaffirm that what we are doing right now is not working as well as it needs to. We developed the Accredited Employers Program in 2000 and it's remained largely untouched since. Accredited employers account for about 20% of the New Zealand workforce. Working with you to do things better represents a big opportunity to make a difference in reducing injuries to New Zealanders in the workplace. It's clear that it is time for our approach to change, and to change significantly. A fundamental shift that we are looking to make is to move away from a compliance-driven approach to one of expecting and rewarding strong health and safety performance. This is significant for you because it means that there will be a strong focus on your health and safety performance. This will include not just your performance in preventing injuries, but also how you manage staff rehabilitation and claims. And it's the second area where your staff are consistently telling us your performance needs to significantly improve. For staff who experience an injury, the level of service they are receiving is falling short of their expectations, and ours. The requirement to embrace and instigate positive change falls on us all. Prevention is our primary purpose, and you take this on as an accredited employer. We've heard that the Health and Safety at Work Act was a catalyst for change for businesses. Leaders in your organisations may be accelerating change, but you've also told us that your boards and senior management can either rapidly accelerate or decelerate a focus on health and safety. We can't and shouldn't be in your business observing how you operate, but we need to find a way that builds and demonstrates trust in your investment in prevention. The future needs to focus clearly not just on improving rehabilitation and claims management services, but also on preventing injuries through learning and continuous improvement. We have listened to everything you and other business customers have told us, and also consulted with advocacy groups, third party administrators and workers. Everything we've learned has been used to design a new way of doing things. Our thinking is still taking shape, but we want to share this with you and get your input. Our thinking includes a clear shift in focus from compliance driven to performance based outcomes across all areas of injury prevention, rehabilitation, injury and claims management. This would focus on requiring businesses to measure their current performance and show how they plan to target and improve their injury prevention activities. Making changes to how ACC monitors performance and how often it's reviewed based on your business outcomes. Certification to deliver rehabilitation, injury and claims management activities including positive satisfaction results from injured workers. Renewal of your accreditation agreement will be based on your actual performance and where this is positive, longer accreditation periods will be considered. As we move forward, we need to ensure that we continue to hear the views of those who will help shape or deliver this change and those who will be impacted by it. Who else in your organisation needs to be part of these conversations? 
We've started this journey of change with you, and by being in the Accredited Employers Program, or by supporting it, you've already stepped into ACC's shoes. We see the future of this program as being a flagship for business and health and safety innovation. A program that not only delivers outstanding rehabilitation and return to work practices, but also understands and recognises return on prevention, facilitates continued learning, demonstrates genuine staff engagement and participation, with engaged leadership that is invested in delivering a change for their businesses and for the program as a whole. We're looking for businesses that share our vision of the program and our values as representatives of ACC. The change we're looking for may be a small shift for some of you, but a significant paradigm shift for others. It would be great to have you on board, but if this doesn't excite you, or you're not ready for the challenge, then the Accredited Employers Program might not be the right program for you in the future. Let's work together to make this change happen.